This is Diamondback's first step into the Cowboy Action Revolver. This is a 22 long rifle. It comes with two cylinders. This is a, it comes with a 22 long rifle cylinder and it comes with a 22 Magnum cylinder. Uh, so you can use the 22 long rifle to do some plinking. You can do the 22 Magnum to actually use this as a defense weapon. This is a double action, single action pistol. And most of these are usually single action. Uh, this is their modern take on this. So there's a few modern improvements that are on here. The barrel length on this is about four and a half inches. The overall length is nine and three quarter, uh, which should fit most revolver holsters. This has a Cerakote finish. It has polymer grips and it has a blade front sight and a notched rear and a big thumb spur on here. The double action pull on this is about 10 pounds and the single action pull comes in at about two pounds. So one of the improvements that they made on this firearm is this lever right here. Usually there's a door on this side. You'll flip that door open and you'll use this. This will be the, the cartridge ejector and you'll take this and, and uh, push it in and that kicks the cartridges out. Well, you have to do this one at a time. So this thing holds nine rounds of 22 long rifle or 22 Magnum. But what this is used for now is you push this forward and it allows you to open the cylinder like a modern revolver. Okay. So you, this is, this now comes out. And of course this cylinder is interchangeable. So you can just pop this open, reload it like a modern revolver, close back up, get back into business instead of having to open the door and pop out each individual round, replace it, pop out each individual round, replace it. So it makes reloading this thing a lot more fun, a uh, lot easier and, and makes it a lot better to shoot. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you the cylinder exchange on this. All right, so I'm gonna demonstrate how to change out the cylinder. I'm just gonna use a uh, Allen wrench that we just happen to have in our bag here. You're going to open the cylinder by pushing forward on the cylinder release here. Open up the cylinder. You're gonna push in on this. Now this has a uh, spring-loaded detent in here, which can be uh, which can pop out on you. So you got to be a little careful to uh, to not Depress it too far oh, So it popped out on me. So this can come out of here, right? So you got to put your thumb over the top of it and This is why we this is why we like to watch these videos So you can see that this can come back in here and it can pop out So if you put your thumb over it like I didn't do then of course you can take your other cylinder your 22 magnum I'm going to be shooting some more with the 22 long rifle today, so I'm going to go ahead and push it back in. So, as you can see on this cylinder, there's a rounded side, and then there's a square side here. So this cylinder is going to be, of course, the uh, the ejector is going to be facing forward, but it has a rounded a rounded beveled side. And what that does is that aids in being able to slide this back in. So you can take here, you can push, put it right back into position, and see if I can get this up in a close up here. I'm going to push this in and I'm just going to push the pin in right here and just slide it down just a little bit. Now that I've slid it down, it's holding that detent back in there and I'm just going to take and slide this and work it back into position. Now it's locked in, close it back up and now I've changed cylinders. This is such a fun gun to shoot. This thing is a blast. So this thing shooting 22 long rifle uh, fits in my standard revolver holster. This is a holster that I use primarily for a Colt Python. So full size 357 Magnum, uh, six inch barrel. Uh, this thing fits in here just fine. But the fun thing about this is that, you know, you can go between 22 long rifle and 22 mag. So you can come out here with your kids. You can teach them to shoot. Uh, it's a real heavy double action pull on the front, real easy single action pull on the back. So you can get them used to thumbing that back, getting a good sight picture, sending that round. But then as they get a little bit stronger and their hands get a little bit tougher, they can, they can start to uh, shoot the double action as well. So it's going to be a safe gun to, to teach your kids. I really wish my kids were out here with me today so that they could, uh, some have, have some fun out here with me. I really hate to be out here doing this with just a few of us, but that'd be a great time. This is such a, 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 a universal platform for new shooters, but then 
not just new shooters, but you could be carrying this thing for your entire life because it's built to last, right? It's, this thing's going to last forever. And then with the Cerakote finish and the polymer grips, it's not going to rust up on you. It's, it's, it's not going to be uh, a problem later on for maintenance, stuff like that. So this is something that you can keep with you on your tractor uh, if you're out on your property or something like that, or if you just want to be plinking uh, at home. But the thing is, is you can also put your snake shot and other stuff like that in there as well. So you can put a couple uh, wind mag rounds in there for personal defense, but then you can put also put a couple of the snake shot rounds in there to, uh, for to dispatch any any pest you know you go out there you move a, a piece of equipment and there's going to be some snakes or something underneath it you know you you can you can do whatever you need to with that so this is a great little piece of kit i'm going to keep shooting Alright, one little cool thing that I like about this with this being a being able to kick this side, this revolt this uh, cylinder out to the side is being able to take this, pop it out, right? Pop this thing out. I, I just shot uh, six six plates or five plates or whatever. I just shot well actually I just shot five plates. So I don't want to reload this whole thing, but I want to set up for the next stage. So I can just kick these out part way. I just kick these out part way, and of course all their 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 rim fire. So all the ones that's got the dent in the rim, I just just pop them out with my finger, and then I know that all the rest that are in there are are good live rounds. And so that's where I'm gonna that's where I'm gonna start with the next one. So here we go. So I think the hardest part of loading all these 22s, I'm going through a lot of 22 today. Um, I think the hardest part of loading these 22s is trying to get all those little bit of rounds in the cylinder, right? So I, keep, I think I'm dropping more 22 on the ground than I'm actually getting in the gun. But of course, pick them up, send them down range. All right, so we've shot this thing for hours now, and we've ran just about every type of uh, ammunition we had on hand. And I also pulled out the mixed bag of 22 long rifle that is just every different type of 22 long rifle that was left over from every range session that I've had for the last couple of years. So we've thrown everything through this, had no issues, no problems. So we're just going to keep on shooting. You can find this at diamondbackfirearms.com. It retails for $320. We hope this was useful and we'll see you next time.